Now, this is something that is rarely discussed and very few people seem to be doing this at the moment. There is a way you can find absolutely great niches using SEMrush and this is perhaps the fastest way to generate niche ideas. The principle behind this is pretty simple. Find what phrases Amazon and other e-commerce sites are ranking for. Then filter the list for the kind of phrases we are looking for. Phrases that start with best or end in review. In the past, when SEMrush wasn't around, doing this would have required an enormous amount of effort. More so if you wanted to sift through hundreds of results. SEMrush makes this so very easy. Enter Amazon.com in the text box here and select Organic Research from the drop down menu. As you can see, Amazon is ranking for a whopping 46 million phrases. That's fine, but you are not interested in just any kind of phrase. You want to see phrases that start with best or end in review. This is where filters come in. The filters are what make SEMrush so extremely useful. Click on the filters button and you can see what kind of filters you can apply. We need to include keywords that begin with best. What you now see is a list of thousands of keywords and there are some really good niche ideas here. Maybe not every one of these will make a great niche. Some of these phrases can be very hard to rank for because they have thousands or even tens of thousands of searches a month. And so you will have a lot of competition. Do not focus on the phrases if you are looking for niche ideas. If you are just looking for niche ideas, there are lots of them here. If you are looking for really easy to rank phrases, we need to apply two more filters. Click this button to add a filter. Now include keywords with volume less than 501 and include another filter with volume greater than 80. Click apply. Together these three filters will display a list of keywords that begin with best and have between 80 to 500 searches a month. Now take a look at the list that is displayed now. This column is keyword difficulty. There is a difference between how keyword revealer calculates keyword difficulty and how SEMrush does it. Keyword revealer and SEMrush use different methods to compute keyword difficulty and the number reported by keyword revealer seems a lot more accurate. But that doesn't mean we can't use the number SEMrush reports. We can sort this list on keyword difficulty so that the easiest keywords to rank for are at the top of the list. Let's do that now. Click on the upward arrow in the keyword difficulty column. Doing that will sort the list in ascending order of keyword difficulty. What you now see is a list of more than 200,000 keywords. Almost all of them is a niche idea, but not all are suitable because some may not have products you can sell. You will have to go through the items in the list and select the ones that interest you.